Hello my freaky darlings. Welcome back. This week I'm looking into one of those what the actual fuck kind of crimes. And one that just goes to prove how people suck. Especially siblings. In 2015, a guy called Carlos was locked in a dovecot in a small town outside Seville, Spain. Now, if like me, you don't know what a dovecot is, it's a rather large birdhouse that looks a little medieval, but it's got like holes in it for the birds and yeah, anyway. So Carlos had been locked in this birdhouse by his siblings for 20 years. 20 fucking years. I shit you not. But Carlos did shit the bed a lot. But anyway, moving right along swiftly. Carlos's older brother went out for a night on the town on the 17th of December, 2015, and caused a little bit of a ruckus at a bar. The cops were called and offered to take him home. When they arrived at the inebriated brother's house, they spotted a padlock on the dovecot's door, which must have struck them as suspicious. I mean, why the fuck would you lock a birdhouse unless you were, you know, hiding stuff? Like illegal goods, drugs, brother or two, yeah, that sort of thing. When they asked Carlos's brother about it, he said his brother was inside. At this stage, the sister also got involved and apparently acted a little strange. So the cops asked to see their brother turns out that the place wasn't just locked by a single padlock, but also a chain and a wooden beam. They really, really didn't want Carlos getting out. Yeah. I mean, if it were a horror novel, Carlos would probably be a zombie or, you know, some axe murderer or something. But obviously not the case. So after climbing some crumbling and narrow stairs, they found Carlos lying naked on a dirty mattress with buckets of urine and feces. Carlos was malnourished and covered in sores, but was taken to a hospital where he finally got the necessary medical treatment. His siblings claimed that they kept him locked up like that for his own good because of brain damage he'd received as a child. But with siblings like that, I kind of wonder, you know, how did he get that brain damage? Did they do it? His siblings were also pocketing his thousand euro disability pension, which he'd received since the incident that resulted in his brain damage. So yeah, so not only did they imprison him, but they also stole his money. Yeah, lovely people. So, his siblings were charged with crimes against a person, abuse in the home, and illegal imprisonment, but were then released. So, um, if this were a story in my world, the siblings would have to spend 20 years in the same conditions they had kept Carlos in. But maybe that's just me and my sense of justice. Anyway. So, Carlos's abuse and imprisonment went unnoticed because the neighbours avoided his siblings because they were creepy and, according to one of the neighbours, just plain evil. And the siblings kept to themselves because they clearly had shit to hide. Carlos would probably still be trapped in that birdhouse if not for his brother's night out at a bar. Just, yeah, family. Can't live with them, can't kill them. Well, it's frowned upon. But you can lock them up for 20 years and get away with it. Well, anyway, that's it for this week. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're interested in things that go bump in the night, serial killers, conspiracy theories, urban legends, haunted places, and other weird shit, please hit that subscribe button or the follow button, depending on which platform you're viewing this on. If you've read any of my books and enjoyed them, be a freaky darling and leave a review wherever you bought it. Pretty please. And if you're interested in getting a free copy of my zombie novella Oasis and other freebies and exclusive content, please subscribe to my newsletter. 
You can find out more details for that on my website. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. And if you see a big old birdhouse with a padlock on the door, make sure some poor old guy isn't trapped inside. Who knows? You could save a life.